a sense of what this offense means to this team and, and how you guys were able to go out and assert the run game tonight early on? Oh, yeah. I think uh, ultimately, like, it takes all three phases in order for us to um, accomplish the goal that we did tonight. Um, we definitely got areas of improvement, and it, we know we'll go back to the drawing board and get it fixed, but uh, I'm happy where we are. We just got to be better next week. Give me a sense of what you felt like, just the atmosphere coming out of the tongue. Frank was saying it's like no other game he's played, and obviously you've played in a lot of big games, but how did this one rank? Yeah, I agree. This is definitely <laughs> number one by far. I've never heard nothing like that um, throughout my whole entire life of playing ball, and having the fans come like they came, it's just ridiculous. So uh, it was exciting, it was thrilling, and um, I'm excited for it for next week. David, this is a long suffer at the base. What does it mean to you to be in part of the first Lions team to ever host two playoff games in one season here in Detroit? That's not enough. Um, you know, let's not be content with what it is. I mean, we won. That's it's cool, but we want more. This offense, fans, especially in the first the first half, those first couple drives were almost scientific. A game plan, you can put it in there, but knowing how you guys were cooking out there, how much confidence does that give you going forward? Yeah, a lot of confidence. You know, Ben does a great job of, you know, dialing up some uh, plays, getting the ball in the right people's hands, and, you know, it's able to, we're able to put it all together, and we, we do it together as an offense. You know, we're able to be successful, so um, that's has off to Ben, and, you know, he's done a great year, I mean, a great job for us all year, and I'm sure he'll keep doing it for us. Dan's message out loud to us, I'm sure, was similar to the one that, that he gave you guys about trying to stay in the moment, not trying to make you know something too big and really do what you've got uh, to this stage seeing this young core stay with that what does it say about that that young group yeah um it's definitely uh, one of those um oppressing oppressive things to see um you know we don't have anybody on the team who get too high with the highs or too low with the lows and you know you appreciate that you know, being able to go through uh, some alarming times sometimes and it can be a little hard and challenging but you know we all stick together like glue and we all good to go hey, hey david being in this division for a long time Obviously, you know what people thought of the Lions. What do you think this means to that fan base? I mean, they were insane. Do it against their former quarterback, too. I mean, sure, I sure don't nobody think that no more. <laughs> I don't think that no more. <laughs> Things kind of slowed down third quarter for you guys, but you know when you needed it, getting those first downs late. Just talk to me about uh, just that resolve for you guys, just sticking with it and uh, just just getting what you guys need to see this win. Yeah, that's all commitment to resiliency. You know, you know all of us uh, sticking together, like I said, like glue and being able to capitalize and finish the game. You know, we we didn't play as clean as we wanted to. I didn't play as clean as I wanted to, but um, we lived to play another week. Feel the atmosphere, like you guys.